The aim was to bring farmers, import suppliers, and extension officers up to speed on protective cultivation systems as it underscores its importance in ensuring an effective practice of climate smart agriculture. Covered cultivation in greenhouse systems, seedling production, irrigation, nutrition, and pest and disease management were the areas of focus. As part of the practical component, a number of protective agriculture plots were visited to conduct field assessments. Senior Agriculture Officer Lawrence St. Louis explained that protective culture systems is paramount to Grenada's food security and helps to address food challenges in a sustainable and resilient manner. Protected cultivation, growing in greenhouses, shade houses, tunnels, aquaponic and hydroponic systems, provides us with the means to produce larger quantities of food of higher quality in areas where this may not have been previously possible, on smaller tracts of land and with less chemical interventions. Protected cultivation allows us to address many of the challenges of food production in a sustainable and resilient manner. FAO Officer Melvin Navarro's presentation focused on some of the changes that need to be made in order to have greater efficiencies in cultivation. He pointed to some of the issues farmers face in Grenada, two of them being excessive rain and pests and diseases. I think what we need to work is establishing the first demonstration plots during, during this year and next year, uh, grow, growing the different crops. Uh, as many crop cycles as possible, and then we will be able to see uh, how the performance is. And uh, as a next step, I think it will be good to have uh, a standardized system. National consultant for the project, Ronald O'Neill, says they are contemplating recommendations for the best designs, noting that the main problem in the structures is too much heat, which makes it difficult for farmers to operate and crop to produce. He has uh, recommended certain designs that would cool the, the, the structures better, for example, like cold plastic, and the orientation of the greenhouse and the vents that you would put. So um, using those kinds of recommendation, I think moving forward, we will be able to have much better production, much better productivity in our, our protected culture uh, houses or what we normally call greenhouses. The information dispensed, he says, will effectively assist farmers with management in the field.